as the chart of accounts, the posting accounts in QuickBooks are typically split, split up into the four categories of assets, liabilities, incomes and expenditures. And we go to the little gear in the top left and chart of accounts. We can see that from the list that's in the type here, assets, liabilities, incomes and expenditures. We need here to focus really on our liability world. So from creditors all the way down here, right to our equity accounts, we've got the liability world in our QuickBooks file set up here. So you can see typical liabilities in here will be creditors, people we owe money to, perhaps the Visa card or the MasterCard, the credit card would be a liability for the business. Uh, and we've also got a couple of VAT liability accounts here, all will become clear with the VAT control, VAT suspense in our sessions on VAT. And we also may well have other accounts like loan accounts in here, and you may well create in here accounts that relate to your payroll, so payroll liabilities, amounts of money owed to either staff or HMRC in relation to payroll would equally possibly appear in your liability accounts. So if you do want to add a liability account to the list, we go to new in the top right hand corner here, and in the little drop down, the top part is all your asset world, but your liability accounts are created from creditors downwards. So creditors all the way to non-current liabilities, those four categories, we can add in a particular liability account. So if I wanted to add a current liability in, I could do that. I could pick a detail type here, so perhaps it's a payroll liability account we're interested in. And here I can type in the name of that particular account. So I might, I, I might in, have a PayYE NI liability account, so this will be the money that I owe HMRC in terms of deductions from PayYE. And I could create that account in here. The VAT code on it would be no VAT. Um, so that, that setup there of a current liability account, if I save and close that, that will add a liability account to my list of accounts in QuickBooks Online. So that's how you add an account. You can see that it's appeared here uh, to the list of accounts. And that's now available for me to post a liability entries to in the chart of accounts. So liability accounts can be found in the chart of accounts. You've got your assets, liabilities, income and expenditure. And that's how you add a liability account to your chart of accounts.